What's up everybody, Tech Checker here, and we've got some breaking news for you in the Marvel Legends world. Uh, these pictures are coming in care of a Facebook post that I saw from Plastic Attic. Uh, he has indicated that these are coming in from Australia, and it looks to be they are in-store pictures, so somebody has gotten these before the release date, which from my understanding, the Avengers Wave, at least for the United States, was going to be released in March of 2018. I could be completely wrong, don't quote me on that. But uh, these pictures, I don't know who it was that posted them, uh, or actually took them, but if I can find out, I will give them credit for this. But this is the Build-A-Figure, the MCU Thanos Wave. Coming in first, we have the Songbird figure, which we knew about and we've seen the picture of her. King Cobra, this is basically just a repaint of the uh, Hobgoblin and Green Goblin, and then a new head and cape it looks like. It actually looks pretty good, but uh, just seeing that body mold again, it's getting a little bit old. Then we have a Taskmaster, which this is the Taskmaster I was hoping for in the first time. This is the look that I like. I mean, there's a couple of little tweaks that I wouldn't mind, maybe a slightly different color blue, but this looks pretty darn good. Next up is the Iron Spider, and I have to say, even though I'm not always super excited about new Spider-Man figures, the paint apps look really, really nice on this. The unfortunate part is, is it does not look like he comes with any accessories aside from the Build-A-Figure part. No extra hands, no extra heads, uh, pretty bare. Next up is an MCU Iron Man Mark 48. Looks pretty good. We get some extra hands, we get some, some blast effects. Looks pretty darn good. The paint apps actually from this picture look really nice. We also get an MCU Captain America. Honestly, I'm not super stoked about this. I feel I've got more than enough Captain Americas. Looking at a slightly closer look at the face sculpt, it does look like it was um, painted very well and the sculpt looks really nice, but um, like I said, I'm not a huge Captain America action figure fan because I've got more than enough of them. And then last but not least is the MCU Proxima Midnight, or Proxima Midnight. I have to admit, I don't know a lot about this figure or this character. I did a quick look and uh, she was a member of Thanos' Black Order, um, one of the best combatants. Beyond that, I'm not going to get too much further into the history or the um, facts about this character. You can go look her up online. The Build-A-Figure, this is the MCU version of Thanos. The Build-A-Figure pieces aside from the head look like they are painted really really nicely they look really cool you can see the infinity gauntlet on the one hand uh, that comes with the king cobra the face sculpt looks a little bit lacking in the paint realm um, feels like his beard could have a little bit of shading i don't know it I'm not super excited about this, so let me know in the comments below, is this wave a must-have? Are you going to grab them all? Are you going to pass on all of them? Which ones do you think are going to be the hard ones to grab? Which ones do you think are going to be the peg warmers? I'd love to hear your thoughts below in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You saw it here first, unless you didn't. I'll see you later.